we're going to talk foundations. We actually have five different types of foundations based on what your skin needs and what you prefer. And so the first thing we're going to talk about is our CC cream. And this really is not a foundation. It's really a tinted moisturizer, but it covers you like a foundation. CC stands for color corrector. So when you apply this, it's just gonna even out your skin tone, but it looks super natural. So if you want a natural look or you wanna look like you don't even have anything on, you'll love this. It comes in five different shades, so it's really easy to match you, and it also has SPF 15. Um, this is my favorite, like, going to the lake, going to the grocery store, working out, just putting something on so you look cute, but it doesn't look like you have anything on. Um, so that's CC Cream. It pairs really well with a mineral powder foundation. So if you like that feeling and that look, but maybe you want a little bit more color or coverage, the mineral powder foundation will be great to lay on top of it. And this is milled five times. There's no other brand out there that's milled that fine. And so what that means is when you apply it, it doesn't look like you have anything on. It doesn't feel like you have anything on. It kind of dust, and that's when you know that it's uh, milled super fine and it's based on your skin color. So you can use that by itself or you can use it in combination with any of the foundations. When you apply it though, you do want a mineral powder foundation brush. So you notice this is like a flat head. And so that means when you apply it, like you get it nice and deep in the bristles and then it doesn't dust everywhere. And then it also applies more evenly when you put it on your face. Okay, so that's our mineral powder foundation brush. Um, the third foundation that I'm gonna talk about is our 3D TimeWise Full Coverage Foundation. This comes in matte or luminous. So if you want a, like if you're oilier, you're probably gonna prefer a matte because it doesn't have any shine to it. It's a flat look. If you're on the drier side or you like a dewy look, kind of like a glow, then you're gonna want the luminous and it comes in, like you'll get a perfect foundation match. We just need to find the match for you, but it uh, has the three complex in it. So it has all the anti-aging built in it and then it gives you full coverage. So that's what I happen to be wearing today. It's gonna cover your face well, but not look like you have too much on. It doesn't look cakey. What you can apply it with, there's two, actually there's three different things that you can use to apply it. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is our blending sponge. Okay, so this is a super dense, it's like very, very hard uh, sponge. And when how you use this is you get it wet, you get it wet and you squeeze it 13 times, 13 times and it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up in your face or in your, <laughs> your hand and you're gonna use your foundation and you just use this to apply your foundation. Okay, so this is a beauty blender or a blending sponge. The tip is really great to get like around the creases and what this does is gives you like a sheer coverage. Okay, so it's kind of like our lightest coverage. The next kind of level of brush is gonna be our liquid foundation brush. So it's angled, and what you do is you put your foundation on here, and then you apply it, and you blend it, and it gives you a medium coverage. Okay, so if you just want like a little bit more coverage than the Beauty Blender. And then the blending brush it has like thousands of little bristles and it buffs your skin. So this gives you a full coverage foundation look. This is my favorite because I like a full coverage. And so you just kind of like blend this all over your face. It gets like in the creases and the crevices and it's going to give you the fullest coverage. Okay. So these are the, the different brushes that you can use to apply the foundation. The, the other foundation that I don't have out is called it looks like this in the book. It's called a uh, cream to powder. Okay. And that's exactly what it is. It's a cream and you apply it with a um, sponge like this and then it dries to a powder. Okay. So if you want the fullest coverage, you're going to like this. If you like a cream to a powder, it's been around for years. You'll love it. If you um, have scarring and you want to cover some of that um, texture in your skin, you'll love it. It's also humidity proof. So it's great in the summer. Um, that's our, that's called cream to powder foundation. And then the other things I want to talk about is the translucent powder. So we actually have pressed powder and translucent powder. This is a white powder. Okay. So it matches all skin types and you would apply it with 
the either mineral powder foundation brush or we have a powder brush. It's like a big fat powder brush. You apply it all over and it just sets your foundation. Um, it takes all the shine away. It has a light reflector in it. So everything appears softer and smoother. It absorbs oil. Okay, so you can set your foundation with this or with our pressed powder, which these are, they're here in the book and they're just like this, but um, a powder. So it's not creamy, it's powder and it's just gonna help you to set your, your foundation based on your coloring, okay? And then the other thing is kind of preparing your foundation with our primer. And so before you put on foundation, you can use the foundation primer this is a silicone base, so you won't even feel it when you apply it to your face. It's like, um, it just absorbs. And then it has SPF 15, so you're protecting your skin from the sun. And it absorbs oil, so if you struggle with oily skin, you're gonna like it. It also fills in the crevices. So then when you put your foundation on, it looks smoother, it also lasts longer. So if you struggle with like your foundation not staying on all day, you want a primer, okay? And you would apply that first after you moisturize before you do your foundation. And then you do your foundation and then you can do a concealer or under eye corrector. And so I'm gonna show you this under eye corrector first because this is what I love to use. It's kind of a peachy color and that offsets dark or purple. And so under eye corrector means it goes right under your eye where we tend to be dark or purpley because that's where like our veins pop through or if we're tired, we have darker circles. And so this immediately brightens up the under eye area. It's also a great concealer. So if you have like a little pop up here or there, you have a little bit of redness in your skin, it'll offset that. But in addition to that, we do have concealer and our concealers are gonna be based on what your skin tone is. Okay, so there's ivory, beige, and bronze, and this is gonna give you more coverage. So if you need more coverage, you can pair these together or you could use you know, them individually. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is our finishing spray. So finishing spray can be put on um, throughout the makeup process. So you can put this on even before you do foundation, it's gonna make your foundation wear longer. You can put it on before you do eyeshadow, it's gonna make your eyeshadow wear longer. Or you could do it completely after, and you can do it in layers throughout the makeup process, but you just literally spray your face, and I call it like hairspray for your face. So it's gonna make everything last longer, actually up to 16 hours, okay? And so that's our finishing spray, and that's foundation.